When we look at antenna radiation patterns, it is important to note that we are looking at two-dimensional renditions of what is happening in three-dimensional space. The horizontal plane, or azimuth plane, is a view of the pattern from the top, as if it were sliced down the middle. The vertical plane, or elevation plane, is a view of the pattern from the side, as if it were sliced down the middle. Antennas are often measured and advertised by how much gain they have. But this can be misleading, without considering the propagation of signal on the radiation patterns. Omnidirectional antennas and gain. Increasing the gain on an omnidirectional antenna increases the reach of the radiation pattern. From 0 to 3 to 6 to 9 dBi, we can extend the reach of our antenna as required. Badly designed antennas can show high gain, but in reality offer inconsistent coverage. A good antenna needs more than just high gain. It needs consistency. What seems to be a good antenna when viewing the vertical plane can be a very bad antenna when comparing it to the horizontal plane. This is an example of a poorly designed antenna with seemingly high gain. It covers less than a well-designed antenna with lower gain. In practice, a bad antenna will receive signal from one or two locations if intentionally aligned that way, while a good antenna would receive signal from multiple locations, improving the reliability of the connection. Directional antennas and gain. To increase gain and focus a directional antenna's radiation pattern, we use reflectors to control how the waves propagate. In much the same way as with omnidirectional antennas, Directional antennas can be constructed poorly and seem like they provide higher reach. This causes spotty reflection of the signal, and while reaching longer distances, provides very poor coverage. So now you know why pointing puts so much design effort into our products. Our objective is to provide superior patterns performing consistently over the whole frequency band. Yeah.